Must be pretty quiet today because the lady in the front office just gave us the key. Extra holy. Top security. Today's our last full day in Mandalay and there's actually a lot to see just outside the city. So it's just before six o'clock and we've got a taxi picking us up to take us around town. We just made it to Mangun. It took us a little over an hour to get here from Mandalay. There's a few different stops we're gonna make here, but one in particular I am most excited about. Time to get my Instagram boyfriend pants on. Insta gold. <laughs> I know this pagoda has become part of everyone's Instagram goals, but in all seriousness, it really is a beautiful building. I think we've taken all the pictures that we can this morning, and now it's time for breakfast. We are having pinga this morning, which is a very popular dish here. It is a rice noodle and fish soup. It is very good. Who doesn't love a little heat in the morning? He just brought us more. So sweet. Our breakfast spot is very conveniently located to stop number two. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Jess was just summoned for a photo by this lovely lady. Randomly enough, this is the second largest bell in the world. And you're actually allowed to ring it. Go lower on the rim. There you go. That bell looks a little out of place in the small building that it's in now, but it was originally cast to be hung in the Mingun Pagoda. They started building this pagoda in the late 1700s with the intention of it being the largest stupa in the country at 150 meters, but for various reasons they stopped construction after 50 meters. It's since been hit by a couple of earthquakes, so it sits in ruins today. Oh my gosh, it's a whole line of monks. Where are they going? What are they doing? Oh my gosh, and nuns. Holy moly, my day has just been made. They're so cute, look at the little ones. Little school children. Mingaleva! <laughs> Jess just said she thinks she could join their class because she's also wearing a green skirt. I'm not sure. They wouldn't even know. We left Mingan and came to a Buddhist academy in Sagan, and this place is beautiful. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's doing so good. What? Sagan is this really beautiful hill covered in all these colorful temples, and we've just come up to the Uman Tenze Pagoda. It is time for lunch. Yeah. We had a good lunch in Sagan and we've come to the Bagia Monastery to check it out. Must be pretty quiet today because the lady in the front office just gave us the key. We don't know where the key gets us into, but we're gonna find out. I think we're just gonna end up going up to every single door. We shall try this one. No. No, it turns. Really? But I don't think it's actually doing anything. <laughs> That one? Ah! Time to walk it back up. Extra holy. Top security.
One last stop before we head back to Mandalay, we're gonna check out the Ubin Bridge in Amarapurna. We almost made it to the bridge, but then Jess saw these colorful boats. She's a sucker for a colorful boat. This bridge is 1.2 kilometers long and it's said to be the oldest and once the longest all teak bridge in the world. If you'd like, you can rent an umbrella and have your picture taken on the bridge. Sunset or sunrise from the water looking at the bridge would be pretty cool, but just walking on the bridge. It was a great last day in Mandalay. We started early, so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day and get ready to head to Thailand tomorrow.